Um, first, just want to get your thoughts on Wednesday night's game in Laval, uh, another impressive performance against a team that uh, you guys have had the number of all season long. No, it was very good, very good team effort. I thought that's the best word is a team effort. Uh, guys stuck together, guys had a great start, and uh, obviously our special teams were really good, so it was a great big team win. Uh, how much confidence uh, do you gain from a win like that in a building like that, uh, knowing that you're going to be in a couple more competitive uh, environments here this weekend? It was really good, and the confidence should be good. I mean, we challenged them before the game to elevate their game in the, the situation. The situation was it was a team that we were kept chasing in a great building and a great atmosphere, so it was challenged, uh, and I think they responded extremely well. Um, and, uh, Graham McPhee is uh, here, uh, may not get in the lineup uh, today. What is he going to add, though, to this team? Uh, tenacity and some aggressiveness. Like he, He's hard on pucks. He's a good four-checker. He does a little bit of penalty killing. So uh, He had a long travel day yesterday, so we're going to get him on the ice and, and see how he looks, see how he feels, and then make a decision. Uh, Lassie Thompson scored twice. It becomes, I think, the ninth senator in franchise history to score two power play goals in one game. Uh, how nice is it to see him kind of get off that uh, lengthy goal list route? Well, he's a defenseman, so I'd rather um, defend real well, but to get goals is nice, and uh, I think the recipe was there. He didn't have it on a stick long, and one little snap shot, and another one uh, quickly got it off his stick, so hopefully he recognizes that that correlation to getting it off his stick quickly gets in the back of the net. Another big effort from Ridley Gregg after he had just that one game off. Uh, it seems like it doesn't take much for him to, to flip the switch and, uh, and do what he needs to do to help this team be successful. He's a big game player. You saw it uh, in his limited time at the World Juniors. You saw it when he went up with the Senators. He, the bigger the game, uh, the better he gets. Uh, I guess without uh, naming a starter at this point, the goaltending situation is fluid as always. Um, can you give us any update on uh, Dylan Ferguson and, and what the situation might look like for the rest of the weekend? Uh, Fergie's going to go on the ice and try it this morning, uh, and then we'll know better from there. And there's probably three scenarios that uh, who's going to start and who's going to back up, and I don't know until uh, Dylan gets off the ice. Fluid situation, as, as we say. Um, I guess looking at uh, uh, the lineup in general, any other changes, or will you stick with a group that's been playing pretty well together right now? I'm comfortable with that group, but again, uh, it's a competitive uh, environment for guys to get in the lineup, which I think is great, and uh, some of it might be dictated off how well guys uh, skate this morning, so uh, I don't foresee any changes, but you never say never. And uh, lastly, just looking at the Utica Comets, it's kind of a reverse situation to the Laval Rocket. This team has uh, given uh, the Senators some trouble this season. What are the keys to uh, overcoming that and uh, picking up uh, some critical points here on the road tonight? The neutral zone, they, uh, they transition extremely well. They, uh, they are very uh, dangerous off the rush, so I think we have to control the neutral zone both ways. Manage the puck, get it in behind them, not turn it over the neutral zone. And then when they're breaking out, we have to have numbers and, and slow them down through the neutral zone. Thanks, Coach. Always appreciate the time. Thank you.